It's okay, bud. All right, we're we are at the emergency room. Good morning, everybody. You okay, baby? Not really. He's been moaning and wailing. Um. So today's Sunday. I'm 39 weeks pregnant. Family vloggers are really doing way too much. I've noticed this trend of smaller, kind of up and coming family vloggers. As an outsider, it seems they're doing whatever it takes to get a click. Nothing is off limits when it comes to their kids. And no matter what your views are on family vlog channels, I hope that we can all agree that what I'm gonna show you today is beyond. It's crossing a line. And it sucks because so many family vlog channels have already paved the way. Like this is the norm in that world. Oh my gosh, we had to call 911. Oh my gosh, my baby has a fever of 106. So people see the stuff, getting millions of views. So they're like, hey, I can do that too. I'm gonna to start my own channel and do the same thing. I have kids, my kids get sick. We have to call 911. The world should see it. I found two particularly disgusting accounts that I wanna show you today. I wanna to show you how far these people will go. And yes, the point of this video is to shame for sure. And also just to get my frustrations out because this is crazy. So this first family vlog channel day, check off all the boxes, right? We've got meltdowns, we've got potty training, we've got sick kids kids, we've got emergencies, clickbait to the max. And right now they have about 15,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is not massive like in the millions like some channels, but that's a lot of people and that's about 15,000 more subscribers than I would like this channel to have. They've been posting videos on YouTube for about eight years now and this is the first video that I saw. When I tell you my jaw was on the floor. Probably like one of the worst videos I've ever seen. The video starts off with the mom driving her son to the emergency room, which side note, why is filming and driving so normalized also? But that's not the worst part of the video. Let's watch it. You wanna tell him what's wrong? No. Uh, it's okay, bud. All right, we're, we are at the emergency room. Good morning, everybody. Said he wanted me to video this to remember it. You okay, baby? Not really. He's been moaning and wailing. Um, so today's Sunday. I'm 39 weeks pregnant, just for reference. Um, and I think it's the 28th of January, but okay, babe, we're about to go in. Um, he fell off the playground equipment last night or like, like late afternoon, but not very high. And then this morning, he's waking up telling me he's in lots of pain, which is normal, you know, being in pain, but he has a fever. A 101 fever so we just don't know if it's like he's got the flu at the same time take a drink some tea drink your tea real quick okay drink some of your tea okay um or if it's like something internally happening because he fell so we're just trying to rule it out figure out what's really going on what's your pain right now if zero is like no pain and 10 feels like you're gonna die it hurts so bad what do you think you are right now down. And he's been wailing and moaning the whole drive. It took us like 35, 40 minutes to get here. Okay. All right. We're going to go in and check this out. But my poor baby, he's not feeling good. He's, he's definitely in some pain. So say some prayers. We'll see how this goes. Do you hear how uncomfortable her son is in the backseat? But you know, we got to update our loyal fans, okay? On our trip to the emergency room. Also, he wanted you to film this so he could remember it. Number one, I don't believe you. Number two, even if that was true, why as a mother do you think that is acceptable? Like if you can listen to your son like that and just be like, hey guys, here we are in the emergency room. I'm pregnant, this is crazy. What's your pain level? Oh, it's a 10. Oh, it's the worst pain you've ever felt. Okay, well, we better go. Um, Follow us along. That's insane. Listen to how uncomfortable this child is and she's just rambling on and on. And I cut some parts out too. Like it goes longer than what I showed you. Part of me thought at first this was like a rage bait, intentionally trying to get a reaction. But based on this woman's history, if not, this is just sincerely how she is. And then the rest of the video is just like various shots of the hospital hospital bed. I'll probably say this a thousand times throughout this video, but this mother should actually be ashamed of herself. Also, side note, this is the only video out of all of these videos that had some slightly negative comments. So their audience is just eating this stuff up or they're deleting negative comments. I guess that's also a possibility, but this was the only video that was like, what is wrong with you, woman? What are you doing here? Next up, we have a potty training video and yes, it's awful. The video starts off with her son just in his underwear. She also has a lot of full on shots of him just sitting on the potty. Are you ready to go pee pee in the potty? Let's get out and give him some privacy. The irony in that statement also. 
Go potty. Has been driving us crazy, hasn't he? With pee and poop accidents. He okay, you gonna try to go again? This is, I think, day three. She's talking about all his accidents. She's got multiple shots of the kid on the toilet seat trying to go. She's telling her kids to get out of the room to give him privacy, but uh, no problem filming it for the entire world. Just everything you should not do when making a video about potty training if you feel the need to do that. And if this was just like a home family video, whatever, that's fine. But this video has thousands and thousands of views and this is nowhere near the worst thing that she has posted. She has this next video is dedicated to her toddler's accidents. Just unnecessary. <laughs> yeah, this boy just got his bath. What are you doing? Oh my gosh, he just peed. Ah! This is what happens when mommy does- Ah, don't step in it! <laughs> he likes to run around naked after his bath. Are you kidding me? So her son has no clothes on. She's recording him, at least it's thankfully from the waist up. She goes on the floor, obviously she's filming it. When she's walking away in the background, you can see her child clear as day with no clothes on. I don't know if she doesn't notice or if she doesn't care, but when your children are the focus of your videos, you cannot be negligent like that. That's not okay. And then he poops on the floor and she's filming it. She shows everyone. And it just gets better and better from there. Like these poor kids, honestly. And I'm sorry if I keep referring to the mom, she's just the one filming most of these videos, but both parents are definitely to blame here, okay? I'm blurring this entire thing, but it's their kid going number two on the floor. What are you doing? Can we check your diaper? You sure? It's awfully are you done interesting pooping? position there, bud. You... Show me. Go, buddy. Turn around. Turn around, bud. I didn't see that. Yucky. Oh, that's after I wiped it, too. No, honey, I do this with the, dirt, the cloth diapers. I know you do, but... Trust me, this is definitely topless because that was a disgusting mess. So it's bad enough you show your kid actively going. They insert a photo of the aftermath and it is everywhere. All of his back. Everyone on the internet needs to see this. I just can't imagine like every event that's slightly out of the norm being like the entire focus of a daily vlog. Their minds must always just be like vlog mode. How can we turn this weird inconvenience into riveting content? The next one's called something like crying and trying to go potty, so there's no better time to record, obviously. The best of both worlds, right? This video just speaks for itself. Push it out. Push it out. There you go. Good Push job. it out. Can you do it? Here you go. Push it out, just like when you hit the toot toot. Just like toot. Just go toot. Can you go Good too? job. Can you go too? He's having a really upset moment here. No. It's okay. We think you might be a little constipated. It's okay, baby. Good job. He's upset, no clothes, uncomfortable. Zero parent here sees a problem with posting this online. And that's what's baffling to me is we got two fully grown adults here. They're responsible for keeping these kids safe, happy, protected, and not one of them is thinking, hey, maybe we just keep this one to ourselves. So those are a few of the worst moments from this one channel. The next channel is arguably worse. Let me know what you think. I have never seen someone so dedicated to the daily vlog as this woman here. No matter how much her children are screaming, crying, actively throwing up, uncomfortable. The cameras are rolling. She has multiple vlogs of her children actively throwing up. This video is kind of a mess with the editing because I'm trying to show you like how crazy this woman actually is and the lengths that she will go to to get an exciting vlog for her channel. But I don't want to actually show you, obviously, her child crying and throwing up. Even with the entire video like blurred, I feel like you can still see too much. So we'll see how this goes. So we'll set the scene kind of. So it's probably like 2 a.m. Her kid's thrown up in his bed. They come downstairs. He's got it all over himself. They've got the bowl going. So she's filming the bowl. She's filming her kid covered in puke. Oh, I don't need a big good kid. I know, you don't want to. Yuck, yuck, mommy. Okay. He's saying, look, mommy, get it off me. He's like, 
covered. Okay, so she's got her phone one-handedly trying to clean him up and get his pajamas off, but she's gotta keep this going. She's gotta keep recording. Her kid's crying. So she's like struggling trying to clean this up. It's like enraging to watch. Just put the phone away. Like, you know what my priority is at 2 a.m. when my kid's throwing up? Literally anything besides vlogging. It's situations like these where I think mom shaming is okay. This is a shameable offense. Can we agree on that? Gosh, guys, this poor kid just is sick. Every, like, every other week he's got something. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. It's okay. It's okay. Shh, 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 shh. Dad, no! And this is not her only vlog with that type of content. She said the kid's sick like every other week. I sh she must vlog it every other week because she's got so much content of her kids throwing up. Arm around them like this. They got the bowl here. Kids like going. The camera's up here and she's like, oh, I'm sorry, honey. It's okay. It's okay. Wait, wait, make sure it's in frame. Oh, it's okay. Come on. Like, I don't know if this is some desperate attempt to seem relatable and show like the hard parts of parenting. Like, oh my gosh, parenting toddlers is so crazy. But like, this is disgraceful behavior from a mother. Okay, here's a clip that she took immediately after her daughter has thrown up. Oh my God. Okay, so we were just getting ready for bed and was drinking her bottle on the couch and decided to throw up. Her daughter's sitting on the edge of the couch. She's covered in throw up. There's throw up on the couch. She's got her bottle still crying. First thing the mom does, record. Like she must've thrown up and then the mom sprinted for the camera. It's like, wait, don't move, don't move, stop, 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 record. Okay, please tell me why. Why is filming the first thing you do? I don't think I've ever been so angry. It's just the way she grabs the camera as if the world needs to see this. I have a toddler and she threw up. Can you believe it? This is the last throw-up clip I'm gonna show you, although it's nowhere near the last throw-up clip she has. One of her kids threw up in the car. We are almost home, okay? <laughs> you feel better? Here we go again. Oh my gosh. Right, we're just gonna get out of the car and take everything off out here, okay? Filming and driving because we need the riveting footage for the daily vlog. A puffy jacket in the car seat is besides the point, but not safe, guys. I'm just constantly amazed at this woman's instinct to film. Moving vehicle and her kid just threw up all over himself, but that is showbiz, baby. What else are we gonna do? It's too bad she wasn't quick enough to film him actually throwing up. This clip is like not as good because it's just the aftermath, but I'm sure she will regret that forever. So there was one day she was vlogging and her daughter suddenly started crying out in pain. So let me know if you know what her next move was. Vision plans just in the last hour has started screaming and holding her ears and saying her ears hurt. And now I have three crying kids because she wants to go to the farm, which I understand. So she's had this stuffed up nose, junky cough for like, a week now that I've just been monitoring because she doesn't have fevers. But um, she was just getting over a ear infection like three weeks ago. So either that is restarted or it's something new. Get her to urgent care or something because she's like, this literally just started. So I oh, no, honey, we're gonna get to the doctor, okay? Just dropped the boys off at grandma and grandpa's is very upset, but there's, you know what? There's nothing I can do about it. So um, I'm gonna get her to the urgent care because that could be a few hour wait around here. Oh my goodness, just get your daughter to the doctor. Why do we have to have all the different shots of her? Oh, she's crying in my arms. Oh, she's crying in her car seat. We got her buckled in. Look, she's crying, she's so sad. Oh, we dropped the other kids off at grandma and grandpa's. Look, she's still crying in the back seat. Now we gotta go. Why are you stopping to record every different angle that you can get? Just go to the doctor. Mom's attention is on being a family YouTube vlogger, not her daughter. I swear every time her kids have some sort of sickness or injury, it's filmed, it's the title of the video, and it's the thumbnail. They're just so milking it, it's crazy. Okay, the next video was also awful. So her daughter got a toy snake wrapped around in her hair, it got stuck. She was screaming in pain due to the fact that a chunk of her own hair was being ripped from her scalp. And mom films the entire attempt of her sure. trying to get this thing out of her daughter's hair while her daughter is scream crying the entire time. So again, she's just doing it one-handed, like probably looking through the phone being like, oh, this is stuck, oh, it's not coming out, this is crazy. <laughs> Calm down. Her hair got wrapped around the wheels. So now I'm trying to figure out how to get the hair out. Snake gets stuck in your hair. 
All right, well, it's in there pretty tight. So I might have to cut it out because this is not budging at all. I'm trying to unwrap it the other way, but it's not really. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. I know it hurts, sweetheart, I know. We're gonna cut it out. At one point, she gives the camera two other kids to record from afar at least. So she gets half a point for that, I guess. But she's like talking into the camera, trying to explain the situation to her audience. When your daughter needs you, put the phone down, put the camera down, and just help your daughter. This needs to be vlogged, you guys. Can you believe it? A toddler got a toy stuck in her hair. This is a brand new scenario to ever happen on the earth. Nobody cares enough about your vlog to make your daughter crying like this worth it. I'm sorry. Okay, last clip from these people. It starts out, the parents are running into the room that the kids are in. The kids got knocked into some glass and so there's glass everywhere. So it seems like they heard their kids in this other room. They heard the crash and the crying. They made sure to grab the camera on the way and then watch the mom here. What happened? You get glass in your knee? Thank she you. must have fell against it when they were fighting. Let me see her back. Oh, oh! oh. Did you sh Oh my gosh. She's like, oh. Did you show, show the glass, like show the glass. So their daughter's in a diaper. They pull the diaper down a bit and then they see that she's been cut kind of bad. Mom's first move after that is gesturing to her husband. Did you show, show the glass that they ran into? The vlog has to make sense. You gotta show the audience the broken glass. Just focus on your daughter. Don't worry about like the clips that you have for your vlog. This is insane. The fact that these people have so many clips like this is crazy. So what's the point of this video? It is to shame. Yes, we got that done. I don't think it should be normal to film your kids sick, especially when they are actively throwing up. I don't think it should be normal to film your kids on the toilet. I don't think this should be accepted. When you look at these videos, 99% of the comments are positive. Either no one's pointing this out or they're afraid to, or it just gets deleted. But either way, I want to encourage the conversation. Not accepting that this is normal behavior. These people should not be rewarded. They should not have an audience if this is what they're posting. I have reported videos where I can, where it breaks rules. I encourage you to do the same. And yeah, that's all I got for now. Bye.